Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video with me, Oofle Spoofle, and in this video we are going to be sending a Tiltwing VTOL seaplane to EVE. Now I'm aware that not everyone knows what a VTOL is and for those of you that don't know it stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing. So in the case of this plane that means that, I mean it's a propeller plane but it can convert into a helicopter for the takeoffs and the landing. Um, so yeah. It can fly pretty fast in the plane configuration, but it also makes for some very safe landings as a helicopter because you can touch down with very little horizontal speed, uh, which also makes it very good for ocean landings and that makes it good for EVE. So yeah, another advantage to this is that it runs on solely electric power. So it's solar paneled, solar powered, sorry. And uh, the propellers are of course the electric ones. So none of that like fuel cells or any of that non-renewable stuff and this thing has more than enough solar panels and batteries so it would have basically infinite range as long as you're in daylight so yeah currently just escaping Kerbin at the moment and it's going to be a very standard eve transfer as you'd probably expect this um but yeah now as you'll see as we actually i'm getting a bit ahead of myself but you'll see in the re-entry that it's not a very stable shape aerodynamically um in fact you can see it here so i did have to add some extra reaction wheels just to make sure it didn't want to flip over but um there was no heating issues because of course we have those really overpowered inflatable heat shields but there was one problem that was really annoying in this mission and that was that you know it uses stock robotics and if you've ever used stock robotics you'll know that they're not the best they're really floppy and they just don't want to stay in one place so in fact, you'll see like when the when the plane gets deployed after we've gotten through, you know, all the atmospheric heating, you'll see that the right wing gets skewed and it gets like recessed on the plane like pretty badly. So, of course, this means that the aerodynamic profile was very unbalanced and it always wanted to turn to the right. And that's definitely a problem if you're trying to fly a plane. So I think this was probably because of the G forces during the flight. Because when I tested this, I like just cheated it to Eve and there was no problems um, with, you know, wings being unbalanced and stuff. So, yeah, what I think I should have done was auto strutted like all the wings and the, the hinge. And then I can unauto strut it like once I've got to Eve. So that would mean that it wouldn't get affected really by the G forces during flight. But um, whatever, it still flies OK, even when it's really unbalanced like this. So anyway, we're coming in uh, to splash down the oceans, of course, moving the wings into their vertical configuration. And as you can see, you can touch down really softly. Um, you wouldn't be able to do that with a horizontal plane because you would just stall and it wouldn't go well. <laughs> but it's it's very safe to land in the oceans. Like, you know, especially if you have a plane that can't produce much lift at low speeds, then, you know, what, ocean landings can be a bit dangerous sometimes. But... um. Yeah, just to prove that this thing can also land on land, I decided to uh, go ahead and move it over to this landmass that you can see uh, right in front of us. So what I actually did for this is um, to make sure it's capable of both horizontal and vertical landings, um, I've added two pairs of landing gear uh, on the wings. So, you know, depending on which configuration, whether you're vertical or horizontal, then you can choose which gear to extend. Um, of course, I would almost always land this vertically, A, because it looks cooler in my opinion, and B, because it's kind of safer. But yeah, you can see I'm really having to fight this plane's tendency to move to the right. Again, like when I tested this, it flew really well. In fact, considering this is like one of the few VTOLs I've done, I was really, really happy with this. Um, but anyway, we're kind of spinning here, but um, I managed to control it just fine and we can come into land. And uh, as you probably expected, this is a one-way mission, but, you know, you, we're going to have to salute our Kerbals who sacrifice their lives in the name of science. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, then make sure to leave a like, subscribe, drop a comment, all of that generic YouTube stuff. And uh, also make sure to check out these videos on the end screen right here. But that is going to do it from me. Again, really hope you enjoyed. And until next time, have a great rest of your day.